Hey, 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 Aspen Mountain peeps. Happy Wednesday to you. I need to apologize. I got so wrapped up yesterday that I did not have a chance to come on live and do a live. I just wanted to uh, apologize for that. We're going to do it, make up for it today. We're going to do a good one here today. First of all, if you're watching this on Facebook and you're watching live, type live. If you're watching this on Facebook and you're and you're watching this on replay, type in replay. Let us know where you're watching from. I really love seeing exactly where everybody's at. It's kind of cool. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, like us, get ding the little bell there, and uh, or subscribe to us, ding the little bell there, and you'll get notifications when we come on. It's coming on within about 45 minutes to an hour. Um, very cool stuff. Been busy today. We've had a lot of trainings going on today, a lot of meetings going on today, but that's okay. That's part of business and. We're happy about it, you know. Things are are uh, are smoothing out in the waters of Aspen Mountain, so we're we're happy about that. Water hammer. What is water hammer? That's a great question. We've had customers with a few problems with it lately, and we're going to try to explain it to you and ex explain to you exactly how it's taken care of. So, first of all, what causes water hammer? I want you to think for a minute. Um, you got water coming into your home. It's under pressure constantly. And as that water comes into your home, it's under pressure, under velocity, and it has a, a speed to it. When you stop water instantly or in a quick manner, hey, what's up, Margaret? In a quick manner, and that water stop, comes to like a wall, wall is or water is unforgivable. It, it reacts and it goes out. And when it goes out, it creates what they call a sonic wave, okay? Or, in this case, a momentum change in the opposite direction, forcing it out. With water lines, what can happen is that it hits that wall, or that valve shuts off instantly. And a great example is your washing machine valves. It's, it shuts off instantly. And then, hey, Christy, thanks for joining us. It hits that wall on that valve, and it shoots backwards because it's got nowhere else to go. And when it shoots backwards on a water line, a lot of times it can cause a banging noise or a vibration, which down the road can cause damage to your water lines. Now, this can be prevented, and the way it can be prevented is simply that either, first of all, the valve needs to be slowed down, which in a washing machine it can't happen, or you can install one of these things on your water line or on the laundry line itself. This is called a hammer arrestor. Now, basically what happens in this, it's almost like a piston inside this. There's a space of air, and then there's a piston in the middle with O-rings around it, and then the water comes up, and when that water hammer takes place, it moves up into this and almost acts as like a shock on a car. When you hit a bump, it moves up and down and just kind of abrases that shock wave. And that's basically what water hammer's doing, is it's abrasing that shock wave and stopping it. So this hammer arrestor will stop that water hammer. So if you have water banging, hey Chris, thanks for joining us. If you have water banging inside your pipes, you turn on a valve in the faucet and you shut that, that faucet off and you hear a bang in the wall or you hear a boom, like a, a weird noise, you have water hammer taking place. Over time, if not corrected, that water hammer can break seals on joints it can wear holes in pipe because it's wearing up against that wood or up against that flange that's holding it. And it can actually cause damage down the road. It also can affect your, your valves on the other side. Water's coming back. It's got to have a place to go. And if it, the closest place to go is your faucet, it can actually hurt the faucet by going up and hitting the bottom of that faucet. It'll destroy that gasket. Hopefully that teaches you a little bit about water hammer. We've had a few customers call us lately saying that they bought new washing machines and of course, they're getting water hammer. That, that water in that valve is shutting off really quick and it's causing that water hammer. So if you're getting that noise in your walls, you're getting some type of, of vibration in your pipes, give us a call. We can come out. We can install a water hammer arrestor for you. We can take care of the problem. But now you know what's causing it. Folks, have a wonderful Wednesday. I'll catch you tomorrow.